Oh, hey, how y'all doing? Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. How y'all doing? I'm doing good. Considering, considering folks. Today, we're starting on a new map called Long Oak Farms. Played on 17 a lot, and I really, really loved it. <sighs> Problem is, my brother passed away. I, I don't have a brother in real life. I'm just using that for the story, okay? It's going to be like a role play type deal. But welcome to Farming Simulator 19 here on Long Oak Farms. Uh, the story we're going to go with is my brother passed away and left me to farm. And this was his house. And, uh, well, trying to find him. Oh, wrong door. Let's use the garage door. Let's see. I want to open this in here. But anyway, um, I'm glad this game came out. And let me put this up. That way y'all can see. He left me with $100,000. And uh, whatever he's got left on the farm. Which I think it's two tractors. A combine. Uh, we'll have to go see. So This is going to be basically like a map tour. Oh, look here. 1978. Look like a Nissan Datsun or a Dodge. Oh, by the way, that's his dog Max. We have to watch out for him. Bag up here and, and see something real quick. He got enough food. Uh, bowl's empty. Let's give him some feed. There we go. Where you at, Max? Uh, pet. Oh, he's hungry. Yeah, all that. Alright, that's all you're getting, Max. Oh, this is a pretty place. Uh, we got a chicken pen here that I figured out. So we're going to get some chickens coming in. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't let that happen to you. That's the lift everything mod, folks. Uh, Got to cheat a little bit, right? But, yeah, let's get the tour going. There's a little out shed where you can open those doors right there. Uh, like I said, that's chicken pen, a little small garden we got. All right, let's go this way first. This here is a cow area. <clears> Throat's a little dry. Sure got me a bottle of water. Uh, this spot right here is where we get our milk from the cows. We're going to open this door here and come in here and feed them. Um, what I understand, you can give their food and straw here. That door down there opens too, and there's one over there that opens if you can see it. Uh, here's where we can buy them or unload them. And then here is our manure pile that we can get. And sad thing is we got to come all the way in here and around to here to water them. But I'm thinking about getting an electric pump. Uh, let's see here. we got a shed down here. Well, that's gotta do something to close this up. Cows can get out that door. Well, we ain't got none right now, but they could. They jump over this fence. Oh, over oh, here's our slurry pit. Oh, I thought that was pile of manure, and that's where we're supposed to put the manure at. The reason why I know all this is it's laid out on a map that I just got through looking at. Yeah, I guess uh, on 17 we could open this door, but 
19 we can't and that's a water spot right there uh, we do have another door here for storage nothing in there as you can see uh, let me go get the truck while we're this close He also left us some land, too, to go on with the farm. So uh, we're going to look at that here in a minute. And it looks like we have a weeder, a new Holland Beller, John Deere tractor, and a fuel tank. Let's see what kind of tractor this is. 6135M. <clears throat> and a wait for it. Is this the front load tractor? Oh, don't look like it. Hey, it starts and runs good. Awesome. Look like it might be a front load tractor. Well, I have to see if we can put an attachment on it. But, uh, yeah, this is our fuel tank. And let's go right here real quick we got a sprayer a mower and let's see what's inside this baby all right and nothing but storage spot good there's our silo but we'll get to that here in a second i think we do have some stuff in the silo too Let's see, we're going to make a circle around this way and come back to our big shop there. This spot here is for uh, sillage. Put chaff and stuff in it. Might make a road run through here. Of course, that'll be later on. Whoa! If I can get through here. Might try to haul some of this stuff off. I don't know. But we got a big plow there. A uh, spot to sell our straw and stuff. They'll come and pick up. I uh, got a loader wagon. Like a cultivator. A tipper. For green and stuff. There's the head for the combine. I ain't seen no uh, corn header nowhere, so we're going to have to get one of them. 645 FD. Now, this field out here is not ours. So, uh, we're going to have to be careful about that. I don't know what this silo right here is for. Uh, we'll have to find that out later. more junk around my brother didn't believe in cleaning up the way it looks but let's take a look at this uh, paperwork mm -hmm. add it I'll say alright here's the map what I can see let me zoom out a little bit I got a lot of fields around us and stuff but we own number 29, 32, 34, 41, and 42. I, I like to get my hands on 33. It is 297,000. I want to say 298,000. But everything that's in green, we own. So you see, we got a lot of, a lot of ground in a way that we own. So we're just, I, I'm planning on going big in this farm. So, uh, yeah. All right. As you can see, we got some wheat, barley, uh, oats, canola, sunflowers, and corn, or soybeans and corn. My bad. And 
As far as potatoes, sugar beets, uh, cotton, sugar cane, eggs, wool, milk, we don't have nothing like that in any of the silos. So it's just basic cereal crop kind of. Uh, here's the maintenance log. He's got everything pretty top shape. We don't have a loan nowhere that I have found yet. So and he left me with a hundred thousand. And of course, today's Monday for y'all. Uh, no animals that we know of. And uh, he's been doing contracts for other farmers. Um, here's a list of everything that's. And you know, this we could do, but uh, yeah, so we might help some of those farmers out once we get situated. Uh, let me pull on up here and we'll look at uh, our shop here. This part right here. Um, this door's locked, and when I find the key for it. Look uh, like it might be our chemical area. This might be why he's got it locked. Let's go in here. Authorized personnel only. Oh, that door is locked. This locked? I don't know. It has some kind of sensor on there or something. Just hope it don't close behind me. Oh, oh. There he is. It's got a sensor. Yay! I uh, got like some seeds and fertilizer here. All that's empty. And we got a big old combine in here and a uh, planter. See what kind of combine we got. Uh, S790 John Deere. Well, our brother was on up there. I thought like he'd have more money. Let me see. Is this door sensitive also yep all right oh I, I like those doors I like those doors how about this one? Ooh. hey is this neat all right, look like uh, I got some parts laying around, welders and jacks. Good. Look like we got all basic tools to work on stuff with. Let's go up here. Oh, dark up here. Look like we just got parts and stuff. So and look like maybe an office there. Go in here and check it out. Oh, a little kitchen area, microwave, refrigerator. Uh oh, oh my brothers. Really in uh treating everything right. Ah, case. Ugh. Ugh. Wrong calendar for me. Woo. Okay. Computers. He, he's got computers everywhere. Uh, nothing in those couch to lay on. I'd better fall asleep on that couch forever. Nice picture. Look like Ravenport. Huh. Well, I wonder if he's ever been to Ravenport. Alright. There's more junk scattered out. This door. Yeah, good. And that's the tour of the farm. We um, let's see, it didn't take very long, did it? About 15 minutes. We're going over here and look at some of our fields. Kind of glance at my map. And this is field 41 and field 42 that we own. 
Hope I don't get a flat. And all the fences look good. And you see on the map here, it kind of curves around those woods a little bit there. And I think we own this back up in here. And of course, it's going to be a fence in the way. Let's go down the pond here. And, oh, okay, we got a, good, we got a way to go in. Got a little log cabin right there, too. We'll just park right here. Pull up the map. As you can see, uh, Phil 34 is right through there. I'm on the back side of the farm shop, so. Ah, right into a pole. Let's go check this out. Ugh. Birds or something been uh, using that quite a bit. Anybody home? Not, not. We got a fireplace. Uh oh. Microwave, toaster, coffee kettle. Maybe tea there. Got a loft up here. Well, it's probably been staying here. That fire still looks warm. Oh, now this is pretty. This is really pretty. I can get used to this. But anyway, folks, I got to find out where all my ground is and stuff. Uh, maybe I'll come back on tomorrow and show y'all town or something. I really, really got to get busy. Um, here's what the stuff looks like. Anything in green I can plant. And the yellow is the uh, harvest. So, uh, like soybeans and corn, I have to wait on. But anything else, I can probably start planting tomorrow. So, I need to get some of the ground. As you can see, Monday and Tuesday is sunshine, but come Wednesday, or is it th no, Thursday? Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is going to be rain. So I need to try to get some things in the ground. And uh, just so y'all can see, we're uh, Fahrenheit uh, on, nine days on, on, and on on these modes here. Just to let y'all know. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Whoa. These automatic gates going to get me in trouble. But I appreciate y'all coming out and uh, watching and everything. You know, support me and all the good stuff. Uh, to be realistic for a little bit, I am sorry I've been gone so long. It's just been hot. In my house, you know, AC's on, box fans running. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it is one hot, one hot cabin or hot cabin room. Uh, yeah. Uh oh. Now, which way do I want to go? I think I want to go straight. But I, I really, really, really do appreciate y'all staying and hanging with me, the ones that have done it so far. Uh, you know who y'all are. And folks, the ones that don't know who they are, just check my comments. They'll be in it. They always leave me some uh, good info, info and suggestions and 
and support and all that and love I just love my YouTube family now right, let's get over by this road and um, I'm gonna make a series on Long Oak also uh, I will be putting out Midwest Horizon series so those are going to be coming too. I got more of those made than I do Long Oak. So whichever one's going to come first. But it looks like this tree line here on the right is our boundary line. And uh, we own this field here too in front of us. So, oh, a little rough there. Be careful when this little pickup might not hold up to it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to be a realistic series on this and like a role play. Uh, probably just me, but. Oh, good. Good. A little stream here. So we can't go wrong. And all these woods in the front of me, I think I own. Pull up the map here. And go to lands. Yes, all this wooded area I own. So we might be cutting some trees too, so we can buy a 33. This is a suggestion, maybe. But anyway, folks, I do have to get off here. It's 21 minutes. So I'm gonna try to keep these short in a way. So um, yeah, I appreciate y'all coming out. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Thank you for hitting the like button and being part of my family, too. What is this? Is that a road? Oh, look. Soft, muddy road, but it's a road. I wonder where it goes. We're going to have to find that out in the next episode. But anyway, folks, like I said, thank you. I love each and every one of y'all. Uh, if you like to see more of these series like this maybe more realistic let's uh, hit that like button share me with your friends and folks just i love y'all y'all are awesome thank you y'all have a great day a blessed day now i'm out of here bye